Hi, it's Mr. Cully here, and in this video we're going to use the accelerometer feature of the micro bit to make a pixel move around the screen when you tilt the device in your hands. Now this includes quite a lot of um, computer science programming techniques, including one called while loops, which can get a bit tricky, so I would advise you if this is the first of my videos you've looked at to go and have a look at some of the others first and familiarize yourself with some other techniques like selection and using ifs and so on before you attempt this. But if you're here and you're up for it, then off we go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the micro bit to display a dot in the middle of the screen here. Now if you look, all our LEDs have got coordinates and the middle of the screen is two across on X and two down on Y. So it's coordinate two, two. I'm gonna do that on an input. So when we press both buttons, I think, on button A and B, Pressed, I'm going to, and I can use game here, create sprite at 2.2, two, that's perfect. But I'm going to save the location of that sprite in a variable, so set item to create sprite. And I'm just going to change item to be, to give it a decent name really, so I know what it is. We'll call it dot. You could call it pixel, you could call it sprite, I'm going to call it dot. There's dot. And the next thing we're going to do in here, actually just before we do, we're going to go to logic. And I'm going to grab one of these false blocks and pop it up here. I'm going to make a new variable now, set item to, and I'm going to attach it to that false. And I'm just going to let it hang loose up here for a while. And I'm going to change this, I'm going to give this a new variable and I'm going to call it play. This variable is going to basically tell our code when to run. So some of our code is only going to run when play is set to true. So what we're going to do down here in our A and B pressed code is we're going to duplicate that and I'm going to set play down here to true, like so. So when I press my A and B button, it puts me a dot in the middle of the screen and it sets play to true. So let's just test that for the moment, and let's click A and B, pow, and there's my dot. Excellent. This play to true is working away behind the scenes. It's not doing anything yet, but it's just about to, so stay with me. The next part of our code is to control the tilt. So I'm going to use two types of loop here. First, I'm going to use a forever loop because I want the computer to, I want the micro bit to forever to keep detecting when the um, which way the micro bit's been tilted rather than just take one reading when you run the program and never redetect again and I'm going to inside that put another loop which is called a while loop and now here I'm just going to detach that true and pop it in the bin because what we want is while logic get my equals we want while this play variable is true so I'll drop play into the first slot and I'll go back to logic and I'll grab a true and I'll drop that into the second slot because we only want to detect which way the micro bit's been tilted whilst we're playing the game which means we've already put the dot on the screen so now we start to use some of the accelerometer features so I'm going to use I'm gonna have another variable now set and for left and right tilt I'm going to use the name of the axis, x. So I'm going to new variable this, and I'm going to call it x tilt, like that. So this is going to detect whether this variable is going to use to store how tilted the micro bit has been from left to right. So I'll set x tilt to, and then go to input, and you've got rotation here, and it doesn't really tell you very well in the documentation, but left and right is called roll, like that. Set X tilt to locate to rotation roll. So if we imagine zero is perfectly flat, if you tilt the micro bit to the right, I'm doing this with my hand as I'm recording for some reason, even though you can't see. If you tilt the micro bit to the right, that is positive roll, so it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. If you tilt it to the left, it goes 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and so on and so on. 
So what we're going to do now is put an if in, so logic, and I'm going to my maths and I'm going to grab a, sorry, my logic again, I'm going to grab a less than. So if my x tilt, back to variables, grab that, if my x tilt is less than, if we put less than zero, the moment we tilt it a tiny wobble, our pixel starts to move. So we want a little bit of a buffer. So I'm going to have less than minus 10. That's so if you tilt it a tiny bit left, it won't start to tilt until you tilt it a bit more. If x tilt is less than minus 10, I'm going to go to game and I can use change x. So I'm going to change the x of my dot. Remember that? Change the x of my dot by one. And the last little thing I'm going to do there for basic is I'm going to put a pause in just so that it doesn't do it all at once, it pauses between each one. Now we'll test this out and this is just for tilting it left. So if I run my code, nothing happens because my dot isn't up and my play game isn't playing until I press A and B. So let's press the A and B emulator there. You can see that if I tilt it, did you see how it moved to the edge immediately? Now, nothing's happening to go back, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click this if and duplicate it. I'm going to pop it in underneath. So now, if my x tilt is greater than, so I'll change that to a more than 10, not minus 10 this time. I'm going to change the x of my dot by minus 1, like so. So that should control the right hand tilt. So let's try it. There's my dot, move it to the right, goes that way, move it to the left, and it goes back. So you can see it tilting left and right. Here's the unusual thing that I found out when I tried this. Um, basically, it works on the micro bit on the screen, but when you get it on your micro bit in your hand, it's back to front for some reason. You tilt it left and it goes right. So what you have to do is swap these numbers around. So this one is minus one, if you want it to work on the micro bit. And this one is one. There we go. So I've done both of my X tilts, my left and right, and that's working. It's up to you now. And did you see how I included it inside the single while loop? It's up to you now to do the Y tilts for up and down. So that's your challenge. Off you go.